All right, guys, welcome back to ZNAB's Zabs Project. Today, we're doing no car. Nope, nothing to do with the car today. Today, we're doing this jack. And uh, basically, what happened, Viva? Bought this just under a year ago, and it's getting very lazy in the means of when you're trying to jack this jack with a car, it takes ages lifting, or sometimes it lifts less than half of what it should be lifting. So, uh, it's mainly, from what I can understand, it's down to the hydraulic system inside the oil inside there that's most probably gone very low so what i can do today is going to show you how to fill it up and then try to leak the air out as you do with normal a car for example a radio or something like that we're going to leak the air out and see if we can get it back to its normal pumping up position again and what fluid do we need uh you normally need a jack hydraulic one or uh you can use the auto transmission oil from a car which is boom like this so is what we're using auto transmission fluid there's auto transmission and power steering fluid uh we use this for one of the super power steering and it's got some spare a bit left so we're going to utilize this phillips screwdriver so the first thing you want to do is take these you've got two phillips screws this side two phillips screws that side take this cover off so let's go ahead and take that it'll be relevantly easy uh, this side here and if you come around the other side <clears throat> you've got the same screws on this side okay and then you've got these two phillips screws on this side do you know take them off and put them somewhere safe like me on the floor <laughs> right next to the jack so hopefully this process all in all if you do it it now, should take more than about 20 minutes if i reckon probably less i reckon less than less than that now you can take this cover off somehow Yeah, see with this brutal force. So what is it holding up? Oh, let's see. No, that's just stuck in this quite this tight space. So. Oh, right, right. There you go. So you just go yeah. Now you're going to put the two screws in the cover as well as, well, this. Now, if you come in here, this again is a Phillips. There you go. Well, otherwise you just clean this up before you open that, to be honest with you. Don't want the dust going inside. There you go. So now we can top this up with fluid. Uh, yeah, so if he jacked, if he, what we're going to, what the plan here is, we're going to release, uh, you're not going to engage, when I mean by not engaging, you're not going to turn this bar so you, this is on the lift position, we don't want the lift position. Right, it's flat like So this. we want to, yeah, we don't engage, we want it flat, and then we're going to pump it first to see if there's any fluid coming out from this. So see if you pump it up, let's see if there's any fluid comes up. Just pump it, go, go crazy on it. No, don't lift it up. No, yeah. right, so just yeah. loose pump, there you go. Yeah. There you go. So there you go, it tells you. The, there is fluid but not enough to us to top up so i think i've got to keep topping up the fluid and keep yeah, pumping no, if, yeah? you, if you first of all uh, top it as much as you can then we'll pump, uh, it. pump it up yeah make sure you have something underneath so we don't want to be anything on the floor Ooh, yeah you can tell there's no fluid at all there is but it's not it's enough not right? enough yeah, yeah look so there was enough when we pump and you could see bubbles coming up uh, and once we fill this up and the point uh, what we're trying to do here is fill it up to the max and then pump it up so all the, we can bleed all the air at the same time we can see uh, yeah so there's literally you know i don't understand where it's leaking from or what's happened it's not so it's always leaked somewhere i don't know how it got empty in the first place oh well, well, well. all right so no i think i just overloaded it so be careful, I'll be smart, but no, gotta take a sweet time by doing this. So, as you can see, it has below minimum fluid in there, and that is the main reason why these jacks don't work. So, sometimes you read, oh, believe me, now we just bought the jack and it's all done and dusted, now we go throw it this way, but no, uh, do try to top it up, leak all the air out, and then hopefully it should be back to as a new as it was on the high lift again. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Lift, it wouldn't be lift at all. It was, um, yeah, we were just there struggling, pumping yeah. and pumping and pumping and yeah, pumping. It wouldn't, and it wouldn't lift the car at all. I think with pressure, it just holds it down. It's not lifting, but obviously, uh, there, there you go. go. So now, now, you stop pumping it and you see bubbles coming up. There you go. So it's leaked up and gone to the max. And as you can see, it's bubbling up, so that means there's a lot of air in it. We want to leak all the air out. I think that should do it. Yeah. Should we top it up more? See, yeah, just see if it tops up more. So we leaked up the air, so now we don't need to pump it. We can just, yep, it's yeah, topped. Let's top now. Right, so um, if you get a rag, just clean all that out. Right, so get a rag and just. A dirty rag, just gonna 
clean it up. Go around it. And like that, you can clean up the jack as well, to be honest with you. There you go, that's clean enough. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put the screw back on again. So I can see the fluid is maxed out. Now it might leak while I put the nut on or the bolt on or whatever have you. Nope, it hasn't leaked perfect. So you tighten this up. Remember, it's hand tightened, yeah? Yeah, not crazy tightened. Yeah. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put engage. Now leave the plate on test of it, so engage mm -hmm. it. And what we're going to do, do is jack it up now. And see. Oh, and now I see, look at that. Well, we should have shown you before and after of how the jacking is. No, there's your, there's your full lift. That's what it should have done in the first place. Now, look at that's perfect. Now, if I put pressure on it, see if no, you no, put... What we're going we're gonna to do in the car, we're testing no, the I should have put... Yeah, go on, we'll do in the car, and say put some pressure on We'll uh, jack this 300 if you want. Uh, we'll do the... Um, screen has got quite a lot of stuff in this. We'll do the 30. Jack underneath the car. So let me explain what you used to do before. So we used to jack the, so if you go have a look underneath, the jack used to be underneath the car like this and we'll jack it, jack it, jack it, and it wouldn't even lift. It would lift just a little About bit. About a few inches up. Yeah, a few inches, and then it stopped. It was like, they had no pressure. Um, it couldn't carry the weight, but now, so basically it tells you that the fluid wasn't there, the hydraulic system wasn't there enough for it to be yeah, jacked now, up. Now, let me go on that side, Z. Uh, let me just go this way. Yes, You're gone. Yeah, And that's how much you used to lift before, innit? Now, yeah, now. there's no struggle, nothing. We're pumping and it's going. Look at that. Yeah, before I wouldn't lift this much, you could just feel it going freely. Yeah, now, now I can feel the pressure. You, you can feel the tension there now. Yeah. And that's how the jack should have been lifting up that much and so forth. And you can keep going up and up and up. And that is how, when we first bought the jack, this is how it used to lift without any headache, without any pressure. But for us struggling, I mean, we used to pump it just like the way we're doing it right now. And there you go, that's the maximum lift. And look at that, it's like it's in a ramp. And just by topping up a bit of fluid, leaking up the air, if you look a bit Basically, right, what you've done is you just a bit right, look at that. Lifted both of the wheels, that one and that one. So basically, just by feel, just by basically doing a basic service on your looking after the tools, and it's back to his brand new per kind of lift again. Not I want to say condition, but lift again. So uh, mechanical condition. Yeah. So that's how we learned it. We were actually gonna we were thinking of throwing it away, but then we thought, hold on, let's just you know yeah, what? I thought we had top it up. The two three hundred pound and another jack. Yeah. Let, let, let's just try this top up. Maybe this might be it. It might not be anything and this else. This one's a, a low profile jack as well. So I mean, look at higher lifting. Yeah, so there you go. Guys, I uh, hope this helped you guys out. Whoever's got jack issues and stuff, something maybe, or it could be something worse, but let's try with the basics first uh, before throwing it out or, and buying a new one, for example, in our case. But luckily we tried it and it worked excellent. Stay safe, stay, stay blessed. blessed. And hopefully we'll see you in another video. Uh, please do smack that subscribe button. Please do smack that subscribe button, share this video. And press the like button. So uh, with you guys helping guys with this support you're giving us. I mean, we're trying to do all these projects. And hopefully we'll get through all of these. Take care. Also, so. let's uh, put the plate back on. Just remember to put your plate back on. And align the holes. Align the holes. Just about.